EcoFlow's new power hat is the funniest looking piece of tech I've seen in a long time, but I think I'm gonna love it. Hello and welcome back to Gears and Tech. I've been checking out a lot of EcoFlow's products, and then I heard they released a solar powered hat. So we had to get one for ourselves and try it out. So let's start with a quick unboxing and then we'll review the features and it's sunny enough that we're gonna check what the real performance of the power hat is and see if we can get even remotely close to what the EcoFlow folks say this thing can actually do. Gams go. Are you paying too much for Netflix, Spotify, Disney Plus, Crunchyroll, Duolingo, Canva, or Adobe? Gamsgo has you covered with premium shared subscriptions for a fraction of the price directly from the distributor. Yes, Gamsgo is the shared premium experience that you've been looking for that saves a ton of money. I personally use Gamsgo for my Netflix, my Spotify, my Disney Plus, and my Crunchyroll subscriptions, and I have saved tons of money by switching to Gamsgo. Switching to Gamsgo is as easy as clicking the link in the description or up in the title card, which will take you to the main Gamsgo website, select the services that you're looking for, and buy them. But to show you how easy it is, we're gonna take 30 seconds and we're gonna sign up for Netflix. So we've clicked the affiliate link and I'm gonna click purchase now on Netflix. Now we have an option to buy three months or six months. I'm gonna buy a six month membership. I'm gonna say activate auto renewal because you don't wanna miss out anyway. Now in my case, I only need one profile. That means that I get one of the five included shared profiles with my Netflix account and I can install it on one device in my home. Do you have multiple devices in your home? You might want to switch to the five profiles option, which also unlocks multiple devices so that you can use all of your profiles across multiple devices. But in my case, one profile is plenty. Now this is the most important step. It's gonna say, do you have a promo code? Yes, I do. And the promo code is GEARS. We're gonna apply our promo code and it's gonna say, this is a valid promo code. We're gonna click to go to payment and then we're gonna enter in all of our details. This is a one-time payment of just $21.26. That is crazy cheap for premium Netflix on one device with one profile. I'm going to pay now. I'm gonna enter my credit card information and that's it. Once you've paid, you get immediate access to Netflix and it's as simple as logging into your Gamsgo account, getting the username and pass key, and then going to legit Netflix. Now it's gonna immediately say, well, who is this? Now I am account number three, Gears and Tech. And it's gonna ask for my pin code because I locked this down. Once I have my pin code in, now instantly I am in the full premium Netflix experience. This gives me HD Netflix, I can download it, and it's that simple. And it works the same on all your other favorite streaming platforms. This is truly an amazing deal, you don't wanna miss it. Click the link down below to grab your deal. Let's start out with an unboxing. And I have to say the packaging of this is pretty basic. It's pretty simple. It's just a white box with black text and graphics and everything on it, but it looks really good. When we ordered it online, it came just like this. Now it does come in two sizes. We got the large size just because it has the best chance of fitting multitude of heads, including mine, which is a little bit bigger than most, but there is a medium size as well if you have a smaller head. Opening it up, it's sealed with some tape here. Quick start guide, which I assume is gonna say, put the hat on your head and plug it into your phone. We're gonna review exactly how to use this thing, so you probably won't need this quick start guide if you're looking at getting one of these for yourself. It does come with this bag, which I'm gonna assume is the drawstring, so that especially on a windy day, like today's kind of windy, you can't tell yet, but you'll see very soon. Comes with the EcoFlow drawstring, which is great. It's actually pretty high quality. I'll show you guys here. You're not gonna be able to see it very well, but it's got this chrome slider ring here that you can squeeze and slide up and down. It's really high quality feeling. We've got an EcoFlow branded carry case, which doubles as a witch's hat. And then we've got the hat itself. Now, the hat is, it's 
interesting, and this is why I wanted to get one in my hands to test out and feel. Now this is made out of a special material that EcoFlow has called PERC, uh, passivated emitter and rear contact monocrystalline silicone. Okay, so that's what it is. It's a flexible solar panel, but it's, it's kind of not flexible. You can kind of see that each panel is inside a, a mini triangle of sorts here. So the flexible part here is in between each of these panels. So this part right here isn't gonna be bent so much. It's slightly flexible, but it's not like designed to like fold like fabric, like my shirt or anything. So that's kind of something to keep in mind. The top of this has kind of a trucker hat vibe to it. So the front has this solid piece here, but there is a mesh in the back. We'll try it on in a minute here, but I just wanted to go through the, the build and the construction. It's definitely a goofy looking hat, and it looks like it's been folded a few too many times and lost its shape, and I, I doubt it's ever gonna disappear from that or, or get over that. On the inside here, uh, we can see the size is large, but it's got these little tabs here. These drawstrings should clip on too. There we go. So now we've got the neck drawstring attached to that. And the main feature here is this little box here at the back, which has all of the panels tie into this box. And then there's two USB ports on here. So if I flip this little rubber cover open, we'll find that there's a USB-C port here and there's a USB-A port on here. You're not gonna see it very well. And then interestingly enough, there's a white LED on here, which I believe is telling it that it's actually producing power right now here in the shade. So I imagine it will get a little bit more power once we're out in the direct sunshine, which we're gonna test shortly. But let's try putting it on our head, see how it fits. So you can see now, first of all, this actually, I was worried that the large would be a little bit too large, but I gotta say it's about right for me for how I want it to fit. But with this drawstring here, it definitely helps make it so that I don't have to worry about it flying away, especially on a gusty day. Today's very gusty. So when we go out in the sunshine, this drawstring certainly gonna help keep it on my head. Power cord is in the back here, which is kind of discreet. You know, it's gonna be behind me, no one's gonna see it. When I go to plug my phone in, we can bring the cord in from the back, but we'll review plugging the phone in shortly. First, we need to talk about what are the specs for this hat and what can we expect out of it. It offers roughly 12 watts of charging, and that's through the USB-A or the USB-C connector, which we already showed you on the back. The hat weighs only about 370 grams and it's IP65 rated. That means that it is dust proof, it is waterproof, but not just waterproof, it's waterproof against blasts of water from multiple different angles, which is fantastic for someone who's gonna be using this outdoors in the elements. Me personally, I was planning to use this for when I go on hikes and stuff like that because, you know, it's always worthwhile to have some way to charge your cell phone, keep it topped up in case of an emergency or if you needed like a GPS for some reason and a lot of other devices, a battery powered flashlight comes to mind. You could charge the flashlight during the daytime. There's a ton of uses for those outdoor enthusiasts. And that's what I'm probably most excited about for this hat because my wife and I were talking about going on longer hikes and I was thinking about getting a solar powered panel that I could hang off of a backpack so that I could charge devices like that. And then all of a sudden EcoFlow comes out with something like this. I don't need to invent anything now. I can just put this on my head and know that it's gonna be charging whatever because it's always gonna have the sun from whatever angle. So I'm really excited to test this thing out in future videos a little bit more specifically in those kind of use cases. But right now we're just kind of overviewing what the features of this hat are. With the unboxing out of the way, Let's just check out the real world solar test. So I'm out here standing in direct sunlight. I've got the hat on, I've got a USB cord plugged in, and now it's time to plug my phone in and see what kind of charge power we get out of this hat in a real world situation. So here we are, we're going to plug this into the hat and immediately it says it is now charging. Now if I swipe down on my phone, I can see that it says 23 minutes until full charge. I'm currently at 93% charge on my phone and 
The one thing that I'm gonna notice is it starts to climb up for my estimated time. I'm now at 42 minutes until full charge and I suspect it's gonna get even longer than that while I'm wearing this hat. Let me just open this up and we can see kind of the battery charging capacity. So we're doing okay at 43 minutes now. After having tested this for a little while, one thing that I've found is it's very difficult to get enough sun onto all of the solar panel arrays to get full maximum charging capacity. And one thing that I found as a small hack to make this better is actually, if you take the hat off like this, and then if you flip the hat like this, more like a solar panel dish, now I'm not gonna be wearing the hat anymore, but when I go like this, I can get all of the cells engaged by the sun, which is currently coming from over there. So I can point the hat like a solar panel towards the sun so that I get all of the panels and effectively get all of the maximum solar capacity that this hat has to offer. You see, each of these cells have to have direct sunlight to get the rated solar output. Now my phone has gone to one hour, 11 minutes until full charge, and I'm already at 92%. Now through my testing, I do know that after an hour, you should add quite a few percent to your battery. It depends on how big your phone is, how big your battery is, and how much power your screen is drawing. But you can absolutely recharge your phone in this configuration. Now, if I were to try and wear the hat like this and then tip my head, you end up sitting in some weird configuration trying to make it work. So for the everyday person who's trying to wear a hat all of the time, you can go like this and it, I find it actually just stalls out the battery consumption. So it's not gonna charge, but it won't discharge. So if I were to stick my phone in my pocket with the screen off in airplane mode, there's a chance that while I'm just kind of walking out in the sunshine that I would charge the phone, but you really have to be conscious of engaging all of the panels all at the same time to get that maximum charge capacity throughout the entire charge time of the phone. So I find this is more of like a stall out battery drain on your phone most of the time. And when you really wanna charge it up, you're probably gonna take it off flip that brim up and point it at the sun to get that maximum range. Now, is that the end of the world? I mean, keep in mind, this is kind of a first, a solar powered hat. And, you know, there's definitely improvements. There's spaces and gaps in here where they certainly can get a little bit more charge capacity, which would help charge my phone a lot faster. But as a first gen product, it's really intriguing. It does offer a lot of solutions. And keep in mind, my phone is a big phone that is quite power hungry. If you have a more reasonable phone that isn't using quite as much power, then you certainly have a much better chance of charging that phone as well. Keep in mind, you can charge other devices, flashlights, battery banks, or anything that's kind of smaller, your watch. You know, those will all charge quite easily with a hat like this. Overall, I mean, I can't complain about this at all. The price is certainly right. Function as a hat itself, I mean, that's not the most stylish hat. You're certainly not gonna brag to your friends about how cool this hat looks. People are gonna ask questions for sure. And kind of the middle being bent up like that from its shipping makes it hold a little bit more of a weird shape than what I would like most of the time. But it's a really cool piece of tech. If this is something that you're interested in, obviously I will put links in the description where you can grab one for yourself directly from the EcoFlow website or on Amazon as they become available. And if you've got some questions about this thing that you want me to test it or try to see what it can do, what it can't do, post in the comments. I'd love to test this a little bit further, but I wanna know what do you guys wanna see? Let me know. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope you enjoy the content in this video. We'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together. You'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. You can check out some of our other content right over here, where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. Have a great day.